Well, this is the, 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 the Basto HL2011. Uh, even though it's called 2011, it's not from 2011. It's actually from the early 80s. Um, my heaters stopped working and I've been struggling to figure out what it is. And since I couldn't find any any good uh, good solutions online, I started to do some testing myself. Uh, just a short uh, overview of what's what here. Um, this here is the glow plug. Um, this here, I'll pop this one out, is um, um, temperature fuse, and this is uh, uh, some flame stuff. Um, what I've tested first was um, was the glow plug. Uh, when you're testing it, the resistance here should be z quite low um, on the um, on the temperature fuse. Uh, it also should be very low, uh, as low as zero. Um, this one can be replaced for I don't know just two or three dollars but you have to solder it on yourself it's very very simple but that one should be should be close to zero um, it was it's nothing wrong with the unit itself and if you're unfamiliar with how to, to test the resistance of stuff like that I'm gonna show you with my very very cheap multimeter um, I got the dial here it's set on 20,000 ohms um, it doesn't really matter where you use uh, where, we, where we set the dial because the resistance should be close very close to zero now you see it says this one there if I close the circuit like that it should read close to zero so on the um, on the on the coil or the glow plug, I'm gonna. This was not very easy doing by with two hands. see that came down to close to one. I'm going to do the same with um, the thermal fuse. Close to one, close to zero there as well. So those two were in order. At that point I turned my attention to the control unit and this is called SG1544 for 12 volts. I popped out the circuit board and um, it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with it uh, but the thing is it actually fell out a small tiny piece of metal a little tiny ring I think it was like from a, a rivet or something um, somewhere along something from this this box it just popped out small little tiny thing so I turned the board around and started tracing every single connection here and several of them seems actually quite burned this one here seems a little bit burned but it's it is actually complete so it's it's I've, I've tested it it goes the voltage or the there's no resistance there but here there is a breakage in the actual circuit board. I'm going to try to solder on a tiny piece of wire to to connect those two. But and maybe I'll see what what that will what that will do. The problem with the burner, um, the sequence sequence it followed was that when it was in ventilation mode, it worked perfectly. But when I took it onto um, the heating, 
uh, the heater actually started, I could see that the, the voltage dropped quite significantly and there came a little bit of smoke out but even though it should have started the fan after 60 seconds the fan never came on um, and after about a minute and a half I switched the whole thing off and to um, swapped over to, to ventilation and it came out quite a lot of smoke so um, I think that there is uh, the, the breakage in the circuit board here actually is the reason why the fan doesn't come on and that is the reason why the whole thing doesn't work at all but I'll try to see if I can fix it <coughs> well after soldering uh, the little uh, controller um, the unit actually works but it's giving out a lot of smoke um, and I actually think that is due to the little uh, diesel pump that it's not putting out, a, out enough of uh, pressure uh, being, it, it doesn't give it doesn't work as it's supposed to be um, the smoke uh, is, is in some uh, periods a little bit less and now I think it's actually turning off I don't know maybe it's accelerating I don't know but it's way too much smoke so I don't think the pressure of the uh, of the diesel pump is is high enough so it, it gives droplets instead of, instead of a spray but that's uh, another issue uh, the point is that now it's it's uh, it's working mm, almost as it's supposed to be well now it's burning a whole lot cleaner and uh, there are almost no no uh, no smoke the exhaust is fairly warm and the output output uh, uh, air is also uh, it's not really really hot but it's uh, I don't know it's, it's, it's hot enough to to keep the boat warm uh, I'm a bit worried about the, that the exhaust is, is quite warm but I think that is normal I think that is just the inefficiency of such a heater but it seems like it's working perfectly now after my little fix and I'm going to show you what I've done I put a little small cable here, I soldered it onto that there and there, because it's the same circuit I just need to, to protect it a little bit so it doesn't, it doesn't short circuit so that's a success I think that's uh, I think I've repaired my little diesel heater. That's fucking tops. That's great.